Welcome back and welcome back to the off-grid workshop. Today I have a, a bit of a special project. This is going to be a quick one. Um, I picked up recently uh, these two EverReady brand uh, uh, LED flashlights. They're very bright. Uh, they have adjustable focus and uh, they're just on and off. There's no strobe functions or anything like that and they're very compact the one downside that of these flashlights are they come with these types of holders and you provide your own batteries so uh, three um, AAA cells in here and about 750 milliamp hours I think you probably get a couple hours worth of light out of this and that's about it they're very bright and they work well. However, I wasn't too happy about uh, disposable batteries. I wanted one with an 18650 in it. And lo and behold, they don't really sell 18650 flashlights for basically what these cost. These were three dollars a piece, a pack of two for six bucks. Uh, I can put a link in the description if you guys are interested. But what I did was I actually converted them converted the first one and I will be converting the second one into an 18650 cell and uh, believe it or not this is actually a pretty simple process only a, a few uh, tools uh, you don't have to 3d print the sleeve like I did you can literally use a piece of cardboard to space it out right uh, but I chose to 3d print it because um, when you have a 3D printer, everything is 3D printable. And I'll, I'll put a link to the files if you want them, but uh, it's literally just two items. Uh, one small ring here and this uh, adapter sleeve that will go into the body of this. This goes in here like that. Now here's the difficult part. Um, I need to be able to push this out because what, what they did was they made this spring-loaded button here um, too long for you to actually fit the 18650 in here. Like, just physically can't fit it, right? But they did leave enough space for us to modify this. And to do so, it's actually just a couple of hand tools. Uh, my favorite screwdriver. Take the tip off because I don't want to destroy the button put it on top of the rubber and you just push down and I've seen people like they butcher these and I don't really feel like that's uh, the right point so this is now empty the barrel and uh, what you get is this uh, plastic ring this is what we're gonna modify you also get this spring the rubber membrane and the button put all these aside this you can discard and will no longer need it uh, the actual ring over here it's just simply put you're gonna have to cut it off mind your fingers and just uh, sharp utility knife should be more than enough to get this done like so What you want to do is just trim it flush and then this 3d printed ring fits in there rather snug and it's uh, the 3d printed ring is just to center the spring for later on you take the spring and I cut one two three about three and a half coils out of it like so And again, you don't really have to do all of this. I just, again, chose to do it this way. So the spring fits in the old place it used to fit in. Uh, the switch has a bent over tab. It fits on top of the spring with a side post terminal here. The 3D printed ring fits in here. You can... Uh, super glue it or do whatever you want to you feel like doing you take this back like so 
and you just push this in. And you take the same screwdriver, notice the shoulder here is what we're using. Take the recycled 18650 is what I have. These are not protected cells and you do this at your own risk. Put it in. There we go. We have successfully converted a very compact, low cost flashlight into 18650 power. The main reasons for doing this is these batteries on the best of times they hold about 700 milliamp hours. And it's not 700 milliamp hours times three because this is pushing out about four and a half volts at uh, one C about 750 milliamp hours. Versus the 18650 that I have in here, it's not the most modern thing in the world. Uh, this 18650 is um, 2600 milliamp hours and it pushes that at about 3.6 volts. So it's actually taking it a little bit easier on the LED but it should run about five or six hours with this uh, compared to maybe one or two with this. So you get a lot more capacity and you have a rechargeable cell and hopefully this flashlight lasts forever. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.